Thank you. 
Howdy y'all, it's Painty Minty, your girl, back at it again with another art stream on a Tuesday, this fine, lovely Tuesday after that, uh, <laughs> what would you call it, a solar eclipse, I think, a sun, sun eclipse, the moon going over the sun. Anyways, it's been a crazy start to my week. Hopefully it's not been as hectic for you guys as it has been for me literally caught up on three different projects today in the studio was in the art studio pretty much all day after work and um now it's time to chillax it's time to draw um and what better way to do that than to you know go back to my high school era and actually it's still now era of uh drawing some fan art for my favorite author his uh name is zach uh sergi i think is how you say his name his last name and um yeah he's got a whole bunch of like choices novels up on um like it's a choose your own adventure type story uh he's got he's got like a lot of different things a lot of um uh, he's, he branches out in a lot of different places. He's got three novels out now, I think. Um, or, yeah, I think it's three. Yeah, it's three. Um, and we're partnered up on something together, so that's super exciting. And yeah, I just wanted to, you know, go back to the roots, go back to some of his original stuff and redo some old art. Uh, or at least, you know, take some of those characters and redo them. So, what I'm going to do, what I'm probably going to choose, is out of my little done folder, um, I have like a whole, I have my stuff organized, uh, into, he has, his, the art that I do for him is in its own separate folder, like the fan art and commissions and that kind of thing. So, um, it's just a matter of choosing, you know, which one we want to do. And I think I kind of want to go back to the early, early works, which was uh, Heroes Rise. If you don't know what that is, it's a basically like a, um, what would you call it? It's like a reality show, but with superheroes and also a little bit of a conspiracy. And it's, uh, it's like sky high in a way, but like a reality show, like a competition show, like physical 100 mixed with a bunch of uh a bunch of cool drama and a bunch of action scenes like it's just wild it's uh it's my my favorite of um of all of his work and that's just because it's I think that was my first introduction to him but what you do basically is in these choices novels you get to you know read as a character and you get to um, pretty much, um, sorry, I'm just, like, thinking while, while talking, um, you get to choose the choices for these specific characters, right? So, it's just interesting, and while I'm, while I'm talking, I'm actually, like, you know what I should probably do? I should probably make this its own file and just, like, duplicate it. Yeah, let's do that. I'm like all over the place. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So I, I wanted to draw the main character of I think the second um the second it's it's like a Heroes Rise is its own series and there's I think three different characters. It's either two or three. I got to go back and read them. But you basically play as, you know, you can name them too. So I named my guy uh Reed and this uh, main character of uh, Hero Project Open Season, he or they, because uh, you can choose, you know, their gender and everything, um, but they can't control their powers in a sense of, like, they... I'm trying to figure out how to explain this without, like, spoilers and everything, but it's a new power every day, a new, a new form every day, so... And one of the, one of the, 
weeks that they're they're comp- competing, he turns into like this cheetah type guy where he's kind of not anthropomorphic but kind of like with those same traits and stuff. So, I wanted to go back to that design that I had done back in like 2020 and kind of rework it a bit just cuz I really liked the hero's rise um you know thing the the story i i suggest checking it out for sure hey tap it out long time no see how's it going we're visiting some old art and redoing the character design for a um for a old fan art that i've done so just basically kind of figuring it out from the get-go going forward but let me go ahead i'm gonna throw up some music and we'll just start sketching and uh let me know how your guys's uh day week has been hopefully it's been good i know legends you had some car issues but hopefully otherwise it's been good <laughs> let me know if this is too loud or too quiet um if you can hear me or not you know audio wise just let me know yeah, I'm definitely back from my sabbatical, <laughs> my hiatus. And then I got sick when I was like, okay, maybe I'll come back to streaming. Got sick with COVID. Got sick with the vid. Okay, so let's figure out his face shape. And then we'll add the cheetah features. It's, it's honestly been a while since I've been able to go back and read these. Yup, I'm hoping your dad's okay. Yeah, no, I get you. And I got a haircut day. Oh, awesome! Happy dad, did you shave your head? What's going on? Or did just a nice trim off the top? <laughs> change this. I feel like it doesn't give me like the thickness and the speed that I want. Okay, so he looks pretty young. Like a thin face, strong jaw, big ears. He's got a mask. He's got the cheetah eyes. He's got those freckles. Having trouble hearing me over the music. Okay, thank you, Tap It Out. Let me know if this is better. Hopefully, hopefully it is. But, I'm just trying to, I don't wanna have to go in and, and read, get it, read. <laughs> um, I don't wanna have to go in and read the character. Um, description because then I, I kind of have to read the book again and it's maybe a good bit into chapter two I think that we get those so I'm not going to read that on stream <laughs> but I know he because he had different forms in the book that I it's it's pretty much given me a, a lot of freedom with this it's funny you say that. Twisted with has been pestering me to shave the side of my head. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, no, you should get a, what is it called? It's called an undercut. And what it is is basically, I'm drawing it for you right now, tap it out. What you should get is, so you have your normal haircut, right? Like this. But then the back, like just the very bottom, not all of it. The very bottom is shaved. And that's what an undercut is. It makes you look like a, a punk girl. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> that's you, Tap It Out. But yeah, no, um, 
I, I basically just caught COVID right as I was trying to come back to streaming, and uh, it was in the middle of midterms too, so it was not a fun time. But I did get to catch up on a lot of movies and rewatch some stuff, so that was pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna figure out his face here. And then... Uh, I think he was kind of like, um... Ernest. I don't know. Since it's a choose-your-own-adventure, you can you can decide how the main character really acts and is. So it's different with each person and how they play it. For me, I can never play like these choice games. I or games and books, I guess. I can never play it to where I'm like mean or anything. Like um. Yeah, like, I don't know, it's just something. I can't, it's like, you know, there's a, there's a, it's, what is it called? It's like, you have to, like, do something bad in a game, or, like, you have the choice to do something bad, and it's temp it tempts other people, but for me, I'm like, no, I don't want to, because then I'll feel bad. Like, being rude to a character in-game, like, I don't know, it just makes me feel icky. Um, but yeah. I don't remember where my point was. How many times have you had COVID now? That was my second time. So just this past time I caught it, um, it was my second time. But, like, what's crazy was I didn't even, like, do anything. The first time I caught it, I was working at the airport. So, like, that makes sense, right? You know, I'm coming in contact with a lot of germs and whatnot. But, this time... I, when I caught it, I, I just went to school, I went to work, and I went grocery shopping, and I went on a 5k run, and that was it, that was it, I didn't go to any parties, I didn't do anything crazy, I didn't, you know, go across country or in crazy areas, um, but yeah, I, I pretty much, unfortunately, uh, just caught it doing my normal daily thing but anyway um yeah this this second time was worse the first time i just felt real tired um and i just slept a lot but this second time oh my god so it's like my whole like my lower half my legs my knees my feet my lower back just locked up like i it was so hard to just stand it was crazy and um like going up the oh going up the stairs was really rough like i had a hard time breathing like not breathing but like i felt like i had to catch my breath um just even just going up the stairs and i don't have like the stairs in my house are not you know crazy huge you know i don't have i don't have um like a lot of stairs it's maybe like 20 steps <laughs> But yeah, that was really tough. Um, and then, what else? Uh, yeah, I had to, my, my muscles just locked up, so I had to get my massage gun out and just like massage my knees, like massage my calves, my thighs. Like, it was wild, just how tight they got. Like, it felt like I was not learning how to walk in a sense, but like, I really had to change how I moved about my day. It was wild. This guy looks a little dorky. <laughs> but yeah, no, this second time around was crazy. And then the fatigue, like, I'm still experiencing fatigue. Like, I don't have COVID anymore, but I, I just feel tired. Like, as soon as 3 o'clock hits, that's, that's where my whole just energy tanks. And if you know me, like, in real life, you know, I, I have a lot of energy. Um, <laughs> I'm not like hyperactive or anything, but yeah, it's, it was, it was wild. Okay, I think his eyes are too big. Let's see, shrink him up a bit. I don't know, I kind of don't like this. Let me Maybe I need to do a three-quarter view. <laughs> Maybe that's that's why I'm not I don't like it as much. 
Or maybe, I don't know, I've been in the studio all day today. Maybe I'm just tired. But um, when I had COVID the one time, I had what they call COVID legs. They hurt deep down and they felt so heavy. Yeah, that's kind of what I felt, I guess. Um, that's funny, COVID legs. Interesting. Okay, let me see. I don't think your guys' chats are showing up. So let me do something real quick. Here we go. Aha! Here you go. All of the chats. Cool. I just want to make sure you guys' chats are showing up on screen. Anyway, yeah, no. COVID definitely sucks. Um, so I made sure that I, when I went back to school, I was really tired and everything. Um, but I had to go back because I had my midterms. I had, you know, go for those. The doctor's note only gave me so long. Um, and so I just masked up. Even though I was negative and I didn't have any really major symptoms, I still wanted to make sure to keep everybody safe. But yeah, now it's just battling that fatigue and figuring it out from there, like figuring out how to make sure I pass my classes. <laughs> okay, I don't know, man. This is like turning out weird. I kind of want to jump onto something else. I'm just not feeling this face. <laughs> I'm not feeling any of the faces. Um, maybe I... I don't know. Maybe I just need to change the color. Feeling cartoony, maybe. Huh. Just need to think about it for a second. Think about design choices. Because I clearly had an idea here. But now I'm not so sure. Also, is he holding like a pendant, I think? Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Thinking. I don't know. Um, maybe I just need to just keep going. Not delete my art. <laughs> That's what uh, I watched Rothy on YouTube and. It's funny, they have this thing, they're like, no, you deleted your art, because they watch their speed paints, and then they, they, um, they commentate over it, I guess. Yeah, you guys can tell I still have my brain fog going on. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's hard for me to think, uh, coming back to everything. Especially since I'm kind of tired, but I, I was like, I really want to draw, though, like, I just want to... I just want to draw. Okay, maybe we bulk out the hair. So here I have it slicked back. Like that. But I kind of want to... I don't know, I kind of want to give him a, like, bangs in a way? Maybe like, um, like this? That'd be cool. Go like anime character. Oh, I've been watching this show called, um, Shogun on Hulu and it's actually pretty good. I really like the show. It's um apparently it's a remake because my mom was telling me like yeah I used to watch this show with my dad back then when it would be on cable. And she said it I think she said it was like a three part series or something, but yeah. Been watching that. So that's kinda why I was late to the stream. <laughs> Sorry for being late. Um, but yeah, we were watching Shogun, and then I had to brush my teeth, because after this, I'm gonna pass out and go to bed. But yeah. You feel that, Legends? Yeah, sometimes you just gotta draw. Doesn't have to be good. <laughs> uh, you just wanna get something out on paper, you know? And that's, that's kinda what I wanna do. But then again, I've, like I said, I've been in the studio all day. Um, so I might just be burnt out maybe i hope not 
because I'm just getting back to school. <laughs> I don't think so though. This feels more of just being tired. Sometimes it, it's at that point at the end of the day where you're just like, you have to concede. You have to, you have to um, let your body rest. My brain still wants to draw, so we're drawing. Actually, I like this. It's actually turning out pretty good. I like this new hairdo. Oh yeah, we gotta give him uh, cheetah ears. He's got four ears now. Well, he's always had four ears, but I wanna give him four. Two kitty ears at the top. Cool. I like that. So we're pretty much figuring out his body right now, which is good. Purple peppers. Um, now we gotta figure out the face, and I think that's where I'm struggling today. Switching up that pen though, that uh, that did the trick, I think, just bulking out the hair. Okay, so how do I want the eyes? That's the main question. I think that's where I've been struggling. Let's take a look through some old art. How did I do eyes? I'm like so inconsistent with how I draw throughout the years. <laughs> like I'll go more cartoony and then I'll go more uh, like anime and then I'll kind of switch back and forth between. Like here I did this in Disney style, right? But then you take a look over here and she's got Madeline Pryor's got a little more anime eyes. It's the consistency. Sometimes I just... I don't know. Where was I? Oh yeah, we were in this. Nope, we weren't in that. Where were we? Over here. Sorry guys, I am all over the place today. <laughs> it's just the... Uh, I don't know. It's been, it's been a while getting back. Getting back to normal. Okay, so let's just map out the face, I guess. We don't have to worry about details until we have it mapped out. Okay, so let's give him more of a triangular nose, the, a hooked nose, I guess, maybe? And then let's give him some Cupid's bow lips. Give him like a confused, determined expression. Like that. Uh huh. That looks pretty good. Uh, I don't know about that nose. Let's go back here. Lighten that up. I think what's throwing me off too is that I made him in a mask and so I didn't really flesh out totally the look. So I'm kind of operating on a really new design here. Plus my style has changed. I mean, I, I use more rough brushes now than smooth. smirk actually oh looks good to me do we want to give him cheekbones like that uh, I feel like we could get that done ah FaceTime I don't want that right now <laughs> that was weird um yeah so I don't know if I want to 
color the cheekbones in. I think I'm going to, just because if I line, if I put him in lines right now, I think he's going to look older than I want him to look. Soften up that jawline. That. Um, yeah, those are long pointed ears that I gave him. Dang. Grandma, what big ears you have. <laughs> I'm not sure I want the nose to look like that either. Let's see. Maybe I just go with like something simple. Hmm. That. Something where I don't have to think too much. Just an easy, simple nose. Like this. Whoop. There we go. That looks good. Cool. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're getting our thoughts in order. I think he might be a little too bulky. I think he was described as like lean. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I've been really wanting to make some speed paints lately. Um, I need to figure out my uh, not figure out, but I need to. I need to get those archived videos from Procreate with archived time lapses, and then um, maybe I'll make some more speed paints when finals are over. I have more time. Yeah, I'm really making his hair a little wild here. He looks like a little wild cat. I think that's actually working though for the design. a little lower though. It's a little too high up. Maybe like right there. I don't know. I don't have any real life uh, cat ear people <laughs> to uh, reference off of. So we'll just say that's a natural look. <laughs> it's an organic placement. Okay. Okay, well, there's our read. Um, yeah, that looks a little better. Let's make the eyes a little smaller. Cool. Looks good to me. Oh, we'll just give him a jumpsuit right there. Cool. So. Hmm. Let's put him over here and decide on a pose. Let's think. Uh, we can put him in the same pose, but it's not really dynamic. Um, I like my dynamic poses. We want to shop for a pose reference, perhaps? <laughs> uh, and now I'm, I'm feeling like I don't like his face again. What is going on, man? Huh. Let's go ahead, let's pull up Pinterest. Our savior. Uh, this is a good pose. It's by Rat. Or not. Oh man, I wish um, this art was credited. 
unfortunately, Pinterest has a lot of, um, has a lot of uncredited work that goes around. Hey, there's your, uh, your favorites, Legends. Rogue and Gambit. Let's see. I just want to look for a simple guy post. Just a simple post. Please. Let's go into... Uh, I think it's under prompts. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Poses. Let's take a look at poses. I have a whole bunch saved. Hmm. I have a lot of gunslinger stuff in here, too. Maybe I should go back to drawing some cowboys. I think we did a cowboy on stream at one point. Okay. Let's see, I kind of like this pose. Is this a real person? No, it's a 3D model. Weird. It looks real. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I like his face. Maybe I'll just shorten it a bit. Maybe it's too long for me. Oh my god, that looked... Look at that. <laughs> and that's too short. Uh, oh, that looks right. Okay. He looks a little young, though. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Excited for the next episode of X-Men 97 tomorrow. Nice. Also, yeah, Pinterest does not credit artists, with the, which they should. I think so too, but I think it's because people on Pinterest just post the pins, and then they don't credit the artist, and I don't think Pinterest can take credit for that, unfortunately. Um, but yes, X-Men 97. Uh, so far, the show is good. I have not watched a single episode. <laughs> I'm waiting for it all to come out so I can binge it. But, um, yeah, I have been keeping up with the breakdowns of it. So I know kind of the gist of what's going on. Uh, aside from that, though, not really. I, uh, I, like, I know what's going on. Uh, big picture wise if that makes sense but I haven't been watching the show itself I need to get on it though I know I'll be in trouble <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna connect it to um, Deadpool and Wolverine though usually I do with that with shows though I wait until um, I wait until the uh, it fully comes out and then I binge it. Unless they're like a show that doesn't have a huge fan base, then I try and give them the most numbers that I can. Um, and uh, that was with uh, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. They didn't know if they would get another season, so they needed all the numbers that they could get. I'm going to be taking a drawing two class next semester so I can brush up on my technical skills, um, do some more life drawing and that kind of stuff. So you guys will be seeing a lot more of that um, come summertime. That and painting. I'm taking a painting class next semester too, so that's going to be super fun. Usually I just paint with acrylic and I never really took a painting class, so this is going to be my first actual painting class, which I'm stoked about. Everything else has pretty much been self-taught. You know what, I'm not going to copy the pose completely. I think I kind of have a good base of like where I'm at. Cool. Get rid of 
that pose. <laughs> Pretty good though, for a quick sketch. References, what would we do without them? Oof. And now that I'm taking a uh, art history class, a lot of stuff is referenced from old art. Like a lot of Christian art, like um, a lot of like Bible art is referenced off of Greek art, which was really interesting. Like a lot of Jesus imagery is um, drawn uh, from Apollo, like sculptures and uh, you know, frescoes, which I thought was pretty neat. I mean, we've been using references for literally before um, Common Era, which is interesting. Nice, painting is really relaxing for me, and I also use acrylic paints. Hope you enjoy the classes. Thank you, Legends. Yeah, um, I get stressed when I paint. <laughs> My name is Painty Minty, but I, I get stressed when I paint. Um, I, I think I get stressed because I haven't been taught how to paint, um, and I've kind of just wung it. Uh, and I, you can't go back really with painting, you know, where with drawing you can kind of just erase it and be done with it. But, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm excited because then I'll kind of learn some new techniques, I'll learn a little more about mixing paints, which is going to be fun. So, I'm excited for it. Bon D. Actually, I'm kind of excited for my drawing class too, but is that the right? No, that is. I put the thumb on the wrong side. Um, there we go. Y'all still do that? I still do that. I put the thumb on the wrong side all the time. Uh, never learned in high school <laughs> uh, what thumb goes where. But um, anyway, so I'm excited for my drawing class, but. I am not excited to do charcoal. I hate drawing in charcoal. And the reason why is because it dries out my hands like you wouldn't believe. That and it, it makes my hands feel like so dry that I, I don't know. Like I'll try and, um, I'll try and like use hand lotion when I'm working with charcoal, but it just doesn't feel the same. Like my hands just feel dry and they feel like they're about to crack whenever I use it. So, that's the only thing I'm not looking forward to next semester. But other than that, I'm excited to paint, I'm excited to draw, and also I'm excited for the sun, because then I can get my nice tan skin back. I get real pale during the winter. Okay, let's see. I think I made him too bulky on the top again. He's working out his traps a lot, but he's supposed to be more uh, lean, like cat muscular, not like gorilla muscular. Easiest thing, just lengthen his body a bit. Foreshortening always trips me up too. Let's see, this maybe. There we go. Look at that. Happy little trees, right? <laughs> Charcoal messy AF. Yep, you are correct. Hey, Nalani, how's it going? Haven't seen you in a bit. Hope you're doing okay. Also, I am drawing a character from a book series called... Um, Heroes Rise. It's by my favorite author, uh, Zachary Sergi. So, definitely look it up. Pretty fun uh, choice of game novels. My favorite. I used to read them all the time in high school. Uh, and it's choose your own adventure, so really, you can have a different experience reading the same book, like, two, three times. Pretty cool. Charcoal is the worst, to be honest. Not a pleasant time when I'm using it because I have eczema and it makes me, it makes them feel drier than they are. Yeah, no, freaking kidding. I, yeah, charcoal, 
I don't think I've ever met anyone who loves working with charcoal. I've met people who are like indifferent, you know, they don't really care either way, but yeah, I don't think I've met someone who's like, I love charcoal. <laughs> hang the hand, so we need to curve it a bit. There we go. Alright. He's got big, broad shoulders. I don't... I think I'm kind of... There we go. Alright. I think we're at a good pose to stop messing with it. A good base pose. Oh shoot, we forgot his tail. <laughs> um, let's just kind of There we go. Loop it in there. Nice. And then we'll get his ears like that. Just working finally on lunch. Oh, sweet. Well, thank you uh, for joining us on your lunch break. What you eating, Milani? You eating a sandwich or some fun, fun lunch item? Bear's tooth, perhaps? Bear's tooth is really good. Oof. For those of you who don't know, Bear's tooth is a, um, it's an Alaskan, uh, pizza place that I think is the best pizza in the US. Um, granted, I haven't been a lot of places in the US, but I can say it's the best pizza that I've had. Um, and I've been to, I've been to California, I've been to Vegas, I've been to um, Seattle, and let's see, where else have I been? I've been to Utah, Seattle is Washington. <laughs> um, Nevada is Vegas. Uh, what else? Where else have I been? Man, I've been to Oregon. But yeah, I think pizza's the, the best in Alaska. Rice cakes. Grabbed a Coke for caffeine. Aw, rice cakes. Rice cakes are good, though. I'll make sure you get some veggies in there, though, Nalani. Um, Coke for caffeine. Are you on night shift? Ooh, Moose's Tooth is really good. They're the same company, though, as Bear's Tooth, so I don't think that counts, right? Let's see. Ooh, look at that hair! And let's kind of make it look a little wild. Ooh, this is turning out pretty good. And... He's gotta have like an angular face, huh? We figured it out, but I don't like that face. I don't know, just the faces are bothering me today. <laughs> All right, let's just work on the body for now. He's got like um, like a jumpsuit on. And then he had like the trifecta symbol in here, I think on his on the the right side I think or was that oh it was on the left side I kind of want to put that in the middle um so we'll, we'll put that in the middle I don't remember how to draw it Hold on. I'm gonna think I wish what are you uh what you talking about uh like about the vegetables? <laughs> you wish you had some vegetables? Me too. <laughs> okay, uh, I did that wrong. Let's... Oh, like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Got it. And right there. Okay, looking good. I think he's in his mid-twenties? Early twenties? So he's not gonna be like too like mature looking in the face, but he's not gonna look twelve. So we're gonna have to fix that. 
Man, hands. Whew. Okay. I never had Barry's Tooth. What? What? You've never had Barry's Tooth? Barry's Tooth is so good. You've never heard, experienced the delight of going to Barry's Tooth, sitting down for a movie and eating their pizza and drinking their beer. Oh, so sad, Milani. You got to. You got to. It's like the thing that I recommend when um, people are like, I'm going to visit Alaska. like, go eat at Bear's Tooth. <laughs> Never on that side of town. Yeah, 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 that's true. If it's out of the way for you, you know, you're not gonna go over there. Give it a hint. And then... I feel like I made that too boxy. There we go. That looks a little better, the shoulder. And then the arm, the forearm. I've never had Bear's Tooth either, but it sounds good. Yeah, it is my favorite. It is my most favorite pizza um, ever. And I haven't been to New York, um, so I can't judge that pizza, but Bear's Tooth is really good. <laughs> um, I've furthest I've traveled is to Wyoming. Oh, I've never been to Wyoming. I think they have... No, that's Wisconsin. I was gonna say, I think they have the, the cheese curds, but what's in Wyoming? Uh, my favorite local places are Moose's Tooth, Thai Village, Lucky Wishbone, VIP Korean, and Napo Korean. Oh my gosh, VIP Korean and Napoli's. I've been to Moose's Tooth and I've been to Napoli's, but I haven't been to the rest. But your art is in a gallery? What? What are we talking about? My, uh, my art isn't in a gallery. Um... My art is displayed in the hallway on my campus, my school. But uh, this, this Thursday I'm going to a release party because my uh, art is being, um, my art is being displayed in the very selective um, school magazine. So I'm excited for that. Um, it's called the Leonardo, which showcases the, um, pretty much the, the works of, uh, art students, and, um, let's see, and then, yeah, the, my other work is just displayed in the hallway. LOL, in your stories, the screenshot of the email, yeah, yeah, that's the magazine, so the magazine accepted out of three of the work, the, three of the works that I submitted, um, one is being accepted into the physical magazine, and then the other is going to be a permanent, um, it's going to have a little permanent home on the website, so that's pretty exciting, pretty, pretty exciting. No galleries yet, though. I hope in the future, maybe, um, I mean, I'm making, I'm doing printmaking this semester, so now that I'm learning that, maybe I can do more, like, actual fine art printmaking and then submit to galleries. That'd be fun. I'd be excited for that. But for now, just a dream. Okay. Let's see. Um... Let's get on the tail. And yeah, just get some stripes in here. 
Oh, it's gonna look like a tiger tail. Um, what does a cheetah's tail look like? It's got like dots, huh? Like this, I think. There we go. Yeah, cause he like uh, adapted powers of a cheetah in the in this chapter iteration of him. Ah, okay. Let's see. Uh, I think we should give him, like, maybe some cool belt um, design, like that. Maybe? That'd be cool. Here. And then, what did I design the original costume like? Oh, that's a cool design. We'll keep some of those elements. Let's go like this. My dad's family is there. Oh, Wisconsin. Um, went to visit once. Go to Long Island. They got, oh, in New York. <laughs> I was like, Long Island in Wisconsin? Um, go to Long Island. They got great Italian places and great bakeries. Here in Michigan, there's a pizza place called, is that Torminas? Is that how you say that? It's got a 24 inch pizza and that's really cheesy and delicious. Mmm, cheesy pizza. It's pizza, really good. Um, yeah, Italian places. Yeah, I haven't had much of Italian food, uh, unfortunately. Um, I think we have some Italian places here that I have to try. I think, uh, I've had, like, cannolis. <laughs> That's about the extent of my Italian food. Which is unfortunate, because I have, like, Italian heritage, so... Uh, I need to- I need to get in touch with my ancestral roots that way. But, uh, that's interesting. 24-inch pizza. That sounds really good. I think I'm- I think I'm gonna have pizza Friday. I wanna have pizza Friday. Oh, you know what? Maybe at that release party, they said that they are catered, usually, so... And that they're really good, so hopefully, maybe, we'll have some pizza. Alright, um... Let's see... Go like that, and like that... Cool. And then we'll keep the like weird sleeve uh, shoes because I'm gonna give him like tiger claws for feet. Or not tiger claws, cheetah claws. Like that. Like beast boy, beast boy feet. Alright. Cool. It looks good. We can go ahead and put the reference away. And I think we will we'll come back to the face on a different maybe a different stream or maybe I'll finish it up later. But for now, have this simple smiley face. <laughs> That's my placeholder face. It's kind of cute. Look at that. Oh, he's blushing. Y'all making me want to eat more. Ah, Kalani. We'll get something else. Order some Uber Eats or something. You can Uber Eat uh, Bear's Tooth or Moose's Tooth. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, stop it here. Because I am super tired. I spent five hours in the studio today. And I spent four hours at work so uh suffice to say i'm tuckered out <laughs> i got a morning class too so i should get to bed early be a responsible student but thank you guys so much for you know just chilling out with me you know watching me draw a face a million times and drawing some sergi verse uh sergi verse characters um yeah make sure to check out zach sergi's work uh, Heroes Rise is the one where this guy is in, and then I think his newest book is called The Pact. This Pact is not ours, 
that's kind of like um like a I guess a whodunit cult kind of thing. I haven't read it yet. I have it on my shelf. I need to read it. It's my my goal for the summer. Um, and then uh, he's got Major Detours, which is about tarot and road trips. And then he's got Do You Want to Be a Pop Star? That one's a really good one, too. Um, so, yeah, check out his work. Give him a follow. Him and I have partnered up on... Um, on something real cool, a cool project, uh, which you can see all of the details about that on his page. His, uh, his page is Zach, Zachary Sergi Writer on Instagram. So take a look at his reels. He posts all about that. My art is in those reels. And uh, hopefully we get greenlit for this project um, and marketing goes well and I can, you know, uh, share it with you guys and you can read his amazing work um, and the characters that I've drawn for it but uh, other than that guys like I said I'm pretty beat I'm tuckered out I'm tired thank you so much for sticking around I hope you have a wonderful week a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you Friday for Little Nightmares because we're starting a new game we just finished Spider-Man but um other than that, guys, have a good night, have sweet dreams, make sure you drink some water, and Painty Minty is out.